All right, gang, let's get this video started. I'm going to be using our main tripod here on the right hand side so I can actually mount this camera so I can sit down. But before I did, I wanted to get a quick close up of it so you guys could see. So this one right here has the three different collapsible legs. I think it's really, really good. That way, if you happen to be on a hill or on an angle somewhere, you don't have to fully extend all of them. As you can see in this one, it's got the steel neck that you can also expand up and down so you can get some more angles. And then we've got the two locking arms. All right guys, let's do a quick review video on our gear. Hey, you guys can start vlogging and doing YouTube for very, very little investment. It's really not that big of a deal. Let me give you guys a couple of different items that we use to vlogs. Now, the very first thing that we had that we were able to invest in was last Christmas, uh, we bought a Canon T6i video creator kit. And one thing that really sold me on the T6i was the fact that it had the flip out screen that you can do a lot of vlogging with. Now, one thing of advice I'll give you if you are using this camera to vlog with, don't watch the screen. Make sure you're looking at the lens. That way your eyes aren't shifting back and forth. But this camera right here, I believe it's anywhere between 18 and 22 megapixels. Uh, it has image stabilization. Uh, it comes with a kit lens. It's an 18 to 135. Very basic, but pretty good quality kit lens. This is our main camera. So anytime you guys see me doing review videos in the truck, Typically, it's mounted to my dash. How it's mounted to our dash is we have a suction cup that I bought from Amazon. It's 20 bucks. It came with a sticky adhesive top that I was able to put on the dash of my truck because the dashboard rolls. So we were able to paste that on and then this right here suction cups on and it just screws into the bottom of the camera like so. So anytime you guys see me giving you any, any advice or any uh, coaching for business, typically it's with this camera and this mount that I'm able to just mount right on the dash. Now the video creator kit is what we purchased. That came with the T6i and the Rode mic. Now this microphone can mount right on top and the audio plug-in goes right into the side. It doesn't require any batteries and it helps you with some extended range with your volume. So if you guys ever see me outside on our table doing a review of some of our equipment, Usually I'm using the Rode mic because I'm about 15 to 20 feet away from the camera. The half of our big camera equipment setup is our newest investment, which was a GoPro Hero 3 Silver. Uh, we were able to purchase that on Amazon. I think it was like 230, 240 bucks. Uh, it came with a dual battery uh, charger and also a spare battery, which I would highly recommend with the GoPros. They don't last that long. Uh, this one we had to purchase a micro SD card for. This is right here on the side. I believe we got a 64 gig micro SD. Of course, the camera came with its regular hard shell case. But one thing that I saw was uh, Brian from Top Notch Lawn Care did a review video on some of his gear. And one thing that he recommended with the GoPro, if you're going to vlog with it, was getting an external microphone. And this right here is a Ceramonic microphone. It's extremely small. It just plugs right into the side, but it definitely is going to give you a lot better audio quality. This camera, as you guys have seen with the uh, window mount, and I just, basically it's another one like this just on my window, and I'm able to vlog with it with it pointing at me. Now one thing I wanted to tell you guys about the GoPro with the extra microphone is that the regular case, it's solid on the side, so you're not gonna be able to plug in this microphone. So you do have to spring for an extra external skeleton case. I think it was 25 or 30 bucks, but that way the microphone is able to fit right through and access the USB micro port, and that way you can actually have your GoPro protected and then also be able to use the external microphone. Now, obviously common sense word of caution is that it's not waterproof if you have the opening on the side. Beyond that guys, the only other thing we use from time to time is a selfie stick. I bought one of the GoPro kits out there. It was like 25 bucks. It came with like 40 different attachments. I'm not gonna lay them all out for you guys, but the ones that we use the most is just a regular standard frame that the GoPro came on and it just mounts right on top we were able to put that on a truck fender. You're able to put it on top of a lawnmower, on top of my truck bed. You can put it on somebody's back bricks or air conditioner. This right here is like a handlebar attachment. This works fantastic if you want to put it around the trimmer. You see a lot of guys do that. So anyway, just our basic setup. Canon T6i camera is about 800 bucks. Along the way, we invested into a GoPro Silver 3. So all in all, guys, we probably got about 1,000 bucks wrapped up into our vlog and, and handheld equipment. But I'll tell you straight up, a lot of guys that you see vlogging just use their iPhone 6 and their 6S Plus, and I'm amazed by a lot of the video quality they get. So if you don't have the big budget to drop 1,000 bucks or make an investment into your business with vlogging and video equipment, hey, just use your iPhone 6S, drop it into iMovie, shave the ends off, add some music, and believe it or not, you can do quite a bit of work and have a lot of fun doing vlogging with long hair and getting some YouTube channels going. 
Dude. Where are we going, Aaron? Where are we going? Where are you going? Come on, man, it's just a snake. I can do this forever. CrossFit. We both gotta run back, just turn around. Baby, you wanna go to dinner with me tonight? Yes, yes I do, yes I do. Aaron, are you working for free today? Yes, I think you are. I think you should work for free today. Yeah. Oh, 